Perry Pencil. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Perry Pencil, and today I'm going to be sketching Major Bison. Bison is one of the most infamous and most vicious villains out there. So today I'm going to sketch him, and the reason why I've been choosing these characters is because they are a part of my past and video game icons. Let's begin. Now, when you are sketching, one of the things that I do is I look at the composition of the way the page is, where I want things to be on the page. So for Bison, I pretty much want him to take up the most of the page, the majority of the page. And I'm doing this because I have him in a particular pose that I like. Usually he has the one hand up with the cycle power. And so if you see, um, I'm pretty much mapping and boxing in things very quick. And when you're sketching, you're moving light and fast, not heavy and putting final lines down. So one of the things that I really, really want to hone in on on these videos is that as I'm sketching, you want to make sure you're marking and putting things at certain points. So when you go back, it's not too difficult to, uh, you know, clean it up later or, you know, sometimes animators this is an animators technique. Uh, they'll rough it out and sketch it out and then it's just refining it. That's all it really is, is that you're going back and you're you're cleaning up and correcting lines that you didn't need or repositioning things that um, needs to be repos repositioned. So if you notice here, I'm sketching in his hand really quick. And what's happening is, is that I'm getting pretty much the way his fingers are supposed to be formed where he's um, uh, harnessing the cycle power and the way I want the fingers to look. Uh, one of the things that are important in sketching is it doesn't matter um, if things look right off or wrong. That's what helps, um, you know, become an effective uh, sketcher or a sketch artist. Um, boxing in things quick and putting it down on the page, it, it gets rid of a lot of time, a lot of unwanted wasted time. So if you notice, this is not, and just to reiterate or bring back to remembrance, these videos are not how to draw tutorials. So I don't want to confuse anyone, but these are rather how I sketch. And so this is so that um, each video or character that I'm going to be doing a series of these um, and also takes uh, uh, suggestions and things like that is just pretty much uh, what goes on in Perry Pencil's mind as I'm sketching. Uh, so take for instance, I'm putting down the features of Bison, but I'm not too careful how it looks when I'm putting it down. So I'm just going in and just dropping in uh, lines and I am going a bit darker now because at this point during the sketch process now I know where I want things to be so um, I'm using the lines that's lighter as a reference point and that helps the sketch sketch go even faster and so when it comes to the let's look at the, the facial features uh, where things are the outside of the head all of this is just um, being put in really quick and uh, it's just pretty much to get the to get everything down that you want marked and dealing with his facial features uh, these are things that are practiced um, so often if not every day or every other day until it's almost like a, let's say it's like walking or riding a bike it's just something you do every day these are things that I want to throw out there uh, to other artists so that when you go to draw I know one of the behaviors or, or uh, habits that happens as an artist and even in sketching uh, you become too fearful to make a mistake or you want this or that um, to look right these videos I want you to be f are to help you be, um, be free in your thought process so my thought process right now is oh you know I'm filling it out this is how I want bison to look but I'm not pretty much worried too much about uh, what the hat looks like is it just like uh, the video game and things like that uh, but fundamentally I wanted to have it be close as possible without taking too much time away from um, getting the job done so to speak uh, another thing is when I'm doing a sketch process I always pretend that I got hired by let's say Capcom the video game developers so I pretend that I'm hired and I say hey you know they hired me to draw bison and that's another thing that kinda helps uh, take the pressure off is that you wanna get this done um, in a decent amount of time, you know, maybe you're thinking you have to meet a deadline or something like that. And I always put myself, um, put a little pressure on. A little bit of pressure helps because it helps you make your decisions quicker instead of spending, um, um, you know, minutes at a time saying, oh, well, 
you know, does this look right on his head or does his eyes look like this or that? Uh, did I get his nose and teeth right? Um, so these are the things that um, I process as I'm sketching and it helps me get the job done a lot quicker. Even if it's off, even if things don't look exactly the way they should, you know, the, by not uh, charging yourself or being hard on yourself, it just makes you a little bit more liberated, a liber liberated thinker when it comes to drawing or sketching. So right now, of course, I'm putting in. Then I get back to talking to the drawing, talking about the drawing rather a little bit. Um, just drop, dropping in shapes behind shapes and overlapping shapes. Uh, he has like these shoulder pads that he's wearing, or that he wears as his outfit, and uh, just using it um, fundamentally what I know about how to draw particular shapes, arcs and curves and oval shapes, and you know complicated shapes like that. Uh, and again, one of the things that I want to do is to kind of put a process out there so if, as you watch this video you will know okay from start to finish um, how to kind of go in and get stuff done really quick as opposed to doing a finished rendering or drawing it's a little bit more involved in that little bit more detail cleanup work and things like that and there's other tutorials that I'll be doing soon too that requires you to take the needy eraser and clean all of the the rough lines up and you'll start making more critical decisions about who you're drawing and what what should stay and what should go so at this point now the figure I have in I'm just adding in some shading now and uh, finalizing some of the sketch so that you know we have the rest of his outfit and his hand with the cycle power on or the cycle power is going to be around his hand so as you see now I'm kind of roughing in an abstract cloud um, suggesting that that this is what it's going to be so here I'm putting in the final touches on Bison's face, um, his fingers, um, and just overall on where the want additional shadows and things like that to go. And adding a little bit of effects to his cycle power around his hand. And you know, so when I'm as I'm finalizing these things, these are just uh, extra things that I'm thinking about. And as I'm finalizing this, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more of these videos. I enjoy doing these. I plan on doing a series of these and I'm going to be sketching various characters. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing this round button at the bottom. Also, click on one of the two top videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. Perry Pencil.